Hey, what is up guys? It is a brand new day today out here in New Delhi, India. I'm having a great day today, guys. Actually, today is not a really great start, kind of, because we got went to the hospital because Adam's not feeling too well. And we get to the hospital right now, and we had, uh, they couldn't help him out, so we had to come back at 2.30 for an appointment at the hospital. Today we're supposed to visit the slums and you know, talk to the parents of the school and see like how they could like, you know, uh, and, 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 and meet the parents of the kids who live in the slums, you know? So like, you know, these kids don't, they don't got money or anything, you know? And they, well, our schedule got pushed back a little bit, but we're gonna head down to the school right now and go see what's up. Look, animals, look, look at this. There's a cow right here. Look how much animals here, guys. Like literally in the middle of the street. Chilling. There's a pig right there too. Look, there's a pig right there. This guy's chilling. Another cow right here. What up, cow? What's happening? Stray dogs. They're just eating from the. Where are they eating from? This is. I think it's a garbage place. It's display garbage and stuff. Wow. All right, guys. We are here. Shaw, my brother. How you doing, man? You good? Good, good. Hi. How are you? Hey. We're here. Hi. How you doing? You right? Hi, Sonia. I'm good. Hi. Oh, the kids. Hi, guys. They're about two to three years old. Look at them. They're so cute, huh? I love kids, man. Hey. Hey. What's up? No. No. Is this cute? Look. Hi. Give yourself a look. Look. Wow. Adam. I mean, fit in. <laughs> you fit in. This This. This. What does that mean? This. Thank you so much. There you go. Happy birthday to you. Happy oh, squad. Come on, bro. Make a wish, make a wish. <laughs> yeah. What'd you wish for? Huh? Huh? What'd you wish for? Uh, uh, you can't say it, you can't say it. Why? You <laughs> can't say it, bro. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's up, brother? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yo. What's up? Hi. Hey. Say what's up, guys? You heard what I'm saying? We out here. No more stay. No more stay. Wow. Really different out here, man. Here we are entering one of the houses in the slums. Wow. Oh Lord. How you doing, brother? No mistake, brother. No mistake. No mistake. Wow. Basically, he's the one who's going to take us to. I don't know. Okay. But you're going to see the size of this house, and they're like. Here there's still like what four people living but then there are more houses where you see like ten or eight people living in just such tiny space. Wow. Biggest one? Yeah, brother. 
So we just visited one of the homes in the slum and there's so many kids living in such a tiny space and it makes you feel really bad, man. Really. Here's the rest. We're still going on a little tour around here. And we'll say. Mall, so like, you know, narrow. There's like little shops in between. A bunch of kids out here too. Are the kids who live at that go to international school? So we're gonna have we're gonna interview them and ask them questions and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty deep right now. I'm gonna ask the family some questions and Adam's also gonna ask some questions as well. Yeah, that's the question, buddy, man. It's crazy, deep, right? It's deep, man. It's crazy deep. Hamza, mother, this is your Hamza, mother, brother. See these kids over here? They don't got video games or anything. So be grateful, man. Their older kids are not in school anymore because they feel like the older the kids, that would mean one more member to earn money for them rather than spending money on their education. They like to send their kids to private schools. They like to send their kids to schools that have better, better quality of education, schools that have good quality teachers. However, they're forced to send their school uh, children to schools that are run by trusts or schools that uh, are free. So uh, most of these kids do not even know how to read or write properly despite them being in class four or five. And that's all because they're not, they've not, never gotten access to quality education. Especially with the families earning $20 a month, uh, with five to six members living in the same household, uh, you can imagine where the money goes. Look hey guys, I'm way too tall to fit in here. You have to bend down. And some people have curtains because they don't have, they don't have doors. And yeah, the whole little room is their house. Watch the pan, watch the pan. So be careful. Uh, so, can I ask you uh, what she do for a living? She's a ho domestic helper. She works in the houses nearby. Uh, and how much does she earn doing that? How much does she earn doing that? How much does she earn doing that? So she's saying that at times uh, some people, so she does uh, food, cooking as well as uh, cleaning in some houses. So she's like at times some house, some months, some house makes some food, some months they don't, so then that money is cut in case she takes a leave because her Sun is unwell, I can see. So, if you should take three, they cut money. So, maximum is $40 a month, but most months it goes down. Um, and how many kids does she have? How many kids she have? She has a big girl. She has a big girl. She has a big girl. Eight sons, eight sons. Older sons, middle son, and the youngest one is a daughter. Three kids. Three kids? Um, what about her husband? What is her husband? He's a laborer. He's a laborer. Daily wage laborer. Laborers, from what I understand, they don't pay daily wage laborers, right? So some months, some days they have work and some days they don't. How does she get food? Like, I don't see a kitchen in here or anything. Like, there's no kitchen, there's no bathroom. That's the kitchen. 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 So that's the. That's the gas, that's that's the stove, that's where she cooks food and these are the utensils. And how about for the bathroom? Right outside. The how do you share the bathroom? Five people in this house, uh, they all share that bathroom, but there's for the uh, the washroom that they use, there's a community washroom there, a community toilet outside that everyone uses. They only bathe here. And uh, does she plan on like enrolling in her kids into like schools or anything? The daughter does not go to school. Uh, only the middle son goes to school. Well, yeah. Why she have these kids? When she goes to school, she goes to school. 
खेलते रहते हैं बाहर इसको अंदर बंद करके चली जाते हैं ये घर में पड़ा रहता है और ये बच्चे दोनों बाहर खेलते रहते हैं और ये इनकी बुआ रहती है थोड़ा सा जाती है थोड़ा देखने के लिए ये देखना चाहते हैं कि सर हम पढ़े लिखे नहीं हम नहीं पढ़ पाए तो हमारे बच्चे तो कम से कम अच्छा पढ़े लिख के कुछ करें क्योंकि इनके पापा हैं ना वो पढ़े तो हैं पर उनकी नौकरी कहीं के लगे उन्होंने बी ए बोलते हैं ना तो बी ए कर रखी है फिर भी बिल कार्य का काम करते हैं so she's saying that uh, what she wants is that as we couldn't study we want our children to study and uh, make a bigger life apparently her husband uh, has done ba uh, which is the graduation she he's done college but uh, he never got job and she wants her kids to be educated enough to be able to get good jobs in the future living in the farm they didn't make anything it was a really big joint family uh nothing was left in their hands just she said some days we wouldn't even have enough money to eat food and that's the main reason why they should be here it's kind of hits me hard because you know like she has she, she has about four kids and i have about six people living in my house and i can't imagine you know like i feel blessed you know like i have a lot of things in my house you know like i have uh you know i have video games i got a tv i got a kitchen i got a bathroom and over here they, they don't have a bathroom you know they share a bathroom with the whole community and they shower right outside they don't have a kitchen they use a stove so you know it really hits home and um i really hope i just want i really hope we all can help uh help out with this whole thing affect our org by helping the kids get education and give them hope and here it makes me realize how important education is when i was back back home in new york you know like i i i go to school and stuff but you know like we don't like see how important it is we really we really don't like we take it for granted and Over here, they're, check, they're trying to take advantage of what they can. They, some people they can't even afford school. So after she spends, you know, like for food and all, you know, like so for the house, like how much does she have left, you know? And like, does she like have enough for school, like to find her son, kids for school and stuff? ये दो तीन बच्चे आते होंगे तो ना तो लगता नहीं है कि पच्चीस होंगे क्योंकि दो दो या तीन तो मैं कर लेती हूँ उनके जितनी दिहाड़ी आज लगी या नहीं लगी कुछ पता नहीं चलता तो शी सेइंग शी लिव्स ऑन रेंट दिस हाउस इज नॉट हर ओन तो शी पेस रेंट फॉर दिस स्मॉल वन रूम एंड आफ्टर एंड ऑफ द मंथ शी इज बेरी एबल टू सेव थाउजेंड रुपीस एंड शी फील्स दैट स्पेशली लिविंग विद द किड्स एंड यू नो किड्स मेक डिमांड्स दैट दिस यंग स्मॉल ऑफ किड्स दे नीड टू बी लुक्ड आफ्टर शी इज लाइक वी बेरी एबल टू सेव एनीथिंग सो दिस किड गॉट डिलीवर्ड बैक इन द विलेज एंड देन क्राई व्हेन द चाइल्ड वाज गॉन Uh, but because it's village, and again, I would like to point out, they didn't have education, they didn't have information, so they couldn't identify what was wrong with the child. When they moved back, uh, when they moved into Delhi, they started showing him to different hospitals, and I think it was then identified that he is uh, he has cerebral palsy. From what I understand, he is not never going to be a normal child, and he uh, even if he grows up, he his brain is always going to be underdeveloped. Uh, they. Gone far and wide. They've shown to all hospitals in Delhi. They've even shown to a really popular uh, hospital for mental health services back in Bangalore. Uh, they've travelled all over India to show this child. Uh, but everybody has said that this child will always be like this, even when he grows up. Uh, they spent a lot of money on him. They've shown him to saints. Uh, they've shown him to doctors. Uh, but this is how it's going to be. So obviously, she's saying that it's, it's her difficulty. They've had to borrow money from people. They've had to uh, pay the doctors' fees. And it's just been a very difficult journey, and she sees it being the same for years to come because everybody has said that that's how the child is going to be. Very difficult for her because with her job, uh, as well as managing the other kids, she has to do all of this for this child. Uh, so when she's gone, who does it? Who like who does it? जब आप यहाँ घर में करना पड़ेगा अकेले नहीं तो क्या करेंगे? The reason why she's not able to take more work because she knows that uh, that kid is waiting for her. So he, uh, she continues to like he continues to lay on the bed while she is gone. At times he has also fallen down and he fell down from the bed while she was away, which is why she realized that she needs to do lesser household. He eats here, he sleeps here, he wets the bed, and he continues to be here and she cleans all of that when she is back. At times he also falls down. Wow. So all of that happens.
And she's saying she has no option but to resort to this because both her and the husband need to make money. So you said that public school is unsafe because they were kids, so what is her plan for the child? Like, is she going to stay in the bed like the rest of the but uh, because he doesn't stand up, he can't sit down, he can't walk, uh, eventually she couldn't put her child through those schools and she has no option and he's always on the bed. And she has no option. She said, I don't know what else to do. So thank you, Chen, for showing us.